You don't need to have the bathroom in the background to make it a look, okay? Just saying. <laughs> Hi, you might be wondering what I'm doing today. I am styling my mom's clothes. Was that bad? I feel like I was supposed to like make this more interesting and like be like, oh, oh, what am I doing? Uh, and this was the best I could come up with. So my mom's clothes, I'm gonna style them. This is actually one of them. If you wanna see how this turned out, there's only one way to find out. Am I right, folks? By the way, this channel is called So Feelings. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Go subscribe right now, okay? I talk mostly about fashion, but I also get traditional videos and I put my own twist on it. And that sounds so cheesy, but you're gonna have to live with it because now it's my slogan and I just decided that. I put a little blindfold on, like one of those things that you put to sleep and that you don't want to see the light, so you put it like this. And I went through my mom's closet, blinded, and just like pulling out pieces of clothing. Separated a few of them and created looks for you guys. The funny thing about this though is that me and my mom, we have pretty different styles. Like, we can agree on a lot of things, but then there's just things that we just don't agree. We just don't agree. We just don't. We just don't agree. So sometimes I will be like, look mom, this is so cute, and she would be like, shut the fuck up. This is just the ugliest thing ever. My mom will say it in a nice way because she's polite and I'm not. So I picked a few outfits and I actually made cool montages on my Instagram too, if you wanna check it out. So this is how the experience went. Yeah, oh yeah, it's an experience. It's almost like a ride to Disneyland. You, you wouldn't believe the experience this is. This is how this outfit looked before I made it better. That was a little arrogant, not gonna lie. This is how this outfit looked before I made it better. Okay, hear me out. I know I look like kind of a crazy dentist, but I don't know. I kind of dig it. What can I say? Like, the shoes, the shoes. I'm not really sure about because kind of I just bought them and now I need an excuse to put them in every look. And I just can't match them with anything. But this is kind of the outcome. Like this is actually made for snow. So it means that my leg is itching as hell. And it's so uncomfortable, but it's so pretty. Okay, so for this one, I really don't like this dress at all, but I paired it with 90s shoes and I try to go for a 90s look, you know what I mean? Of course you do because I just said it. Um, <laughs> the way, I'm pretty proud of what I did. I am proud. Check this out, like honestly. I hated this top in the beginning of this and I just didn't I didn't know how this would turn out and I made it into a crop top. My bad inkling. And then things just started to make sense again when I put my tiny glasses on, you know? You don't need to have the bathroom in the background to make it a look, okay? Just saying. I would say pretty much the one that I was obsessed with was the one that had the, the pants that I said that the leg was bothering me kind of vibes. I love that so much, but I didn't feel like it was the most creative one. When I got that shirt turned into a crop it, I really, over there I felt like I overcame myself and I just was so proud. And then this one that I'm wearing that you saw what I did with now is the least favorite. I really had like a hard time doing this and it's nothing particular to this thing. It's just it's not my vibe, you know, and it's not your vibe and it's like, oh, it's not my vibe. And then you look at the clothes and they give you back the not vibe vibe, you vibe. So that's what I mean. And now you've seen it. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you saw so I thought it would be an interesting twist. And now there's always the weird outro. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go.
Okay, now I need to turn it off.